Hello, today is Thursday, February 24th, 2022. As always, I will be speaking the English language, then I will switch to the Persian language. Um, the topic is the Islamic Republic of Iran is shutting down the internet. This issue is going on, as far as I know, over one year. What is happening? Iranian people are having access to sensitive materials that the Islamic Republic of Iran do not want to know them. Why? Because the political actors are discussing um, issues that are sensitive and it shouldn't be in a public domain. These issues ranges from fraud and um, how their domestic and foreign policies is against what they're telling Iranians. So the Islamic Republic of Iran thinks by shutting down the internet and having intranet, I apologize for mispronouncing intranet, so they could stop the flow of information and they could shape the public opinion the way they want it because right now internet is shaping the public opinion the Islamic Republic of Iran is not shaping the public of opinion people are no longer trusting on the, the Islamic Republic of Iran's media or other source of information that provides them with information uh, for example they're coming and they see oh uh, the revolution guards are explicitly tape recording their conversation and they're talking about fraud, embezzlement, um, Javad Zarif's uh, who was a former foreign minister of Iran he said uh, the revolutionary guard Soleimani was nobody he was puppet of Putin so all that adds up and for example um, it also creates a connection between Iranians outside of Iran and inside of Iran so what happens when we have this dynamic I'm in Canada and I'm connecting myself with Iranian people in Iran there's a solidarity and there's a disconnect between the system and the Iranian people so the Islamic Republic of Iran's political actors are thinking, hey, let's shut down the internet as Russia and China has done it, have done it. So there will be a, no more dialogue between these parties and we could do whatever we want to do. We, they want to create a black hole. And to me, there is always the notion of will. If there is a will, it's going to happen. And Iranian people have the will to do it because people in Russia or China are not getting killed by their government yes they are okay they are uh, human rights violation but um, Russia's army doesn't launch a rocket at the civilian airplane and brings it down so people in Russia or China they have hope Iranian people do not have hope for a better future. The cleric revolution guards and their associates, they're plundering Iran's wealth and Iranians are being deprived. They are facing a skyrocketing prices. Goods and, they're paying a skyrocketing prices for goods and services in Iran. So they are uh, feeling that, hey, this is not the right way because we are a rich country. And they're looking back at the time of the king, Muhammad Reza Pahlavi and Reza Shah Great. They saw the progress that was made, um, all the things that they have. But the regime in Iran offers them absolutely nothing. So all these issues has created this connect with the regime in Iran. And the regime thinks, hey, I'm going to cut the internet and we're going to have an intranet. So that way they could easily control and manage people because 
the, the regime in Iran, the political actors, they want to manage daily affair of people. That's what they're thinking. But that's not how it's going to work out. This is going to go really, really wrong way with the regime in Iran. Still, people have access to some means of communication. What has happened? Someone is going to have a flash drive about this size. This is a flash drive easy to hide it somewhere under my tongue maybe and um, they're gonna leave Iran they're gonna go to Turkey and they're gonna use Turkish internet to upload the information so the Islamic Republic of Iran has not solved the problem it had creates more problems because now people are going to be agitated, they are more determined to expose the regime. And the Islamic Republic of Iran is going to get more agitated because it's creating barrier for people not to communicate with each other. And they're communicating with each other and it's going to cause more problems. Okay, it's, it's, it's escalation, it's not a de-escalation. So what's going to happen is going to create more anger among Iranians. And Iranians are going to come more forward. They will be coming forward very fast, and they will. They will. Going to say we have a right to have a free speech. That's what is really coming down into it. I hope the Islamic Republic of Iran listens to Iranians. What do Iranian people want? A referendum to decide for them a form of a state, republic, or constitutional monarchy. Or maybe there is another form of a state that I don't know. Okay? They have that right. So they say we want to have a referendum. Okay, we have a referendum. And let people decide for themselves. Listen to what Iranians are saying. Otherwise, the end of the Islamic Republic of Iran will be a very bloody war. Okay, I will be speaking the Persian language. Suppose um, I'm going YouTube man جمله اسلامی میخواد انترنت رو ببنده و انترانت داشته باشه من انترانت رو فکر نکنم درست تلفظ میکنم روی تلفظ من تکیه نکنید مرسی جمهوری اسلامی میخواد ببنده چون به این نتیجه رسیده که انترنت باعث میشه که ایرانیایی که در داخل کشور و در خارج از کشور با هم دیگه تماس برقرار کنند و پیوندی ما بین اینا رخ داده و این پیوند ها باعث شده که جمهوری اسلامی خودش رو تو خطر احساس کنه ولی جمهوری اسلامی باید درک کنه که واقعا مشکل اساسی اینترنت نیست نگاه کنید این مثلا از سپاه پاسترا میان صدای خودشون رو ضبط میکنن و یه مدرکی دارم بر علیه خودش من نمیم کی میاد صدای خودش رو زد کنه که من وارد کار خلاف هستم من هیچ وقتی همچین کاری نمیم من تو کار خلاف نیستم برای که نمیخوام با پلیس و چیزی کاری داشته باشم آسه میخوام برم آسه بیا ولی برای من خیلی شگف انگیزه که اینا این کارها رو از قص انجام میدن بعد میکن نگاه کن ببین چی شد محمد جواد زریف که فورن افر بود فرمه فورن افر بود ایشون نمیم صدای خودش رو زد کرده و بعد میاد به دست مردم میرسه میبینن سلیمانی پاپت پوتین بوده خب اینا رو که ماها میدونیم نه اینکه ندونیم ولی دیگه خودشون دارن میگن رسما میگن و با بستن اینترنت دردی رو دوا نمی کنن. خب بگیم اینترانت دارن خب مردم با هم یه صحبت می کنن. جمهوری اسلامی می خواد یه جوری مردم رو کنترل کنه. من می خوام تو رو کنترل کنم. این رو سر اینا همش در رابطه با کنترل مردم. خب اینم یه نوع کنترل. هیچ ارادی نداره. اینا من یه فلش درایو خیلی کوچولو دارم. اینو لب چیزای متریال سنسیتیو رو ور می دارم. میام تو کشور ترکیه اینترنت اونجا رو استفاده میکنم همه چیز رو آپلود میکنم میرسی به دست مردم پس ما به چه نتیجه میرسیم 
جمهوری اسلامی مشکل حل نکرده با بستن اینترنت بیشتر داره مردم عصبانیت میکنه و خودش هم داره عصبانیت میکنه برای اینکه میبینه داره صد ایجاد میکنه که مردم نتونن ارتباط برقرار کنن و بیشتر مردم دارن ارتباط با هم برقرار میکنن و باعث ناراحتی خواهد شد خب تو چین و روسیه انترانت هستش حتی تو چین هم بایپس میکنن ولی ما باید یادمون باشه که اینا تو اونجا امید دارن به آینده امید به آینده خوب دارن مردم ایران امید ندارن و اومدن دنیا به این حالت خیلی بدی که رخ داده آخر سر چی خواهد شد؟ آخر سر اینه که جمهوری اسلامی شکست خواهد خود من هیچ شکی ندارم ولی بهترین استراتژی واسه جمهوری اسلامی چه بهترین استراتژی واسه جمهوری اسلامی اینه که دست برداره بگی من نمیتونم این کارها رو ادامه بدم باید بشینم با مردم ایران صحبت کنم بگم که مردم ایران شما چی میخوای مردم ایران رفراندوم میخوام میگن جمهوری یا مشروطیت این چیزی که از دیدگاه من شاید یه فرم دیگه هم باشه استیت یه فرم استیت دیگه هم باشه مردم خودشون بگن یه همچون فرم استیتی هم هستش ما میخوایم اینو باشه گوش کنید اگه شما ها گوش نکنید این راه همینجوری ادامه بدید این مردم این مردم دیگه توقیان کرده اینجوری نیستش که مثلا دارن صحبت میکنن توقیان کردن و دارن میان جلو هر روزی که میایم جلو روز نزدیک شدن به نابودی جمهوری اسلامی هم. خودتون دارید با دست خودتون خودتون رو نابود میکنید حالا سعی کنید از راه های درست و من نه کاری دارم میکنم که مثلا مردم شورش کنم نه چیزی خودتون دارید میکنید مرسی